That doesn't really help, does it? Um, yeah, you know, my theory about this is, I'm gonna just press X on yeah. I think my, my theory of this thing is this, like when, you're, when we're faced in a global pandemic, there's um, two things are gonna happen. There's gonna be people that are gonna be a lot more magnanimous and compassionate and empathic and are gonna help out. And there's people who um, thrive in chaos and want to keep it that way because it maintains some sort of power that they have. I think what you just described is the latter. Some people are just gonna be agents of chaos. We can't, I wish it was, I, I wish it, like I was a superhero so I could just go around and just like, you know, zap party. people with laser eye beams who are, who, who are doing dumb things, but you know, I just, but, it's just, it just is what it is. I think I just ripped my shirt. Oh my God. It is, it, it is what it is at this point. I, I, um, it's awful. It's awful around, around the world. I mean, the world total of COVID um, people is about, it's almost 2 million. It should be reaching 2 million this weekend. 2 million people worldwide would have had COVID. And over like how many 100,000 deaths? Like, it's crazy, you know? That's a perfect breeding ground for people to like be more chaotic and to exercise some sort of control because people are scared. Because it's easier for them to access control when people are scared, you know. And um, but I also have to urge people that like as much as possible, like social distancing is not a suggestion at this point. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. Is it? Is it oh, it's actually two million right now. It's over two million. See, it's a necessity. Look, when America, we saw the news about those kids who went to to Miami. And they were like, oh, you know, like, if I get corona, I get corona, it's fine. I'm like, you guys are probably right now battling with each other for respirators in a hospital because you weren't listening. Like, you know, I saw a clip of them sharing food um, yesterday and they were doing it from the top of a bus and there was like hordes of people around. I'm like, that's not social distancing, you know. But I understand the desperation behind it. But like, that's the problem. That's how this, sh this thing will spread. So I don't it's know. Not reducing I, I wish I had a lot more answers, but I don't. Hmm? It's not reducing the spread. Oh, heck no. And, and another thing is, I also don't like the idea of throwing food at people from like a top of a bus. I think it's just not really, in, it's not really humane. Uh, I think people should be treated with respect because if, if you treat them gently, they, will, they would respond gently. I don't think anybody gets out of bed and decides that they want to go and fight and like, you know, Type with somebody over food like i don't think that's how we're built but you know survival instincts kick in and you know which is why i like how they did the lucky food bank like it's kind of like they maintained the lines and everything and people came in in order and they got their food and it was peaceful for the most part i just don't like the idea of like throwing food at people because i mean okay you're throwing food into the into the crowd now it then becomes survival of the fittest you're treating people like animals they're gonna act like animals like, that's that's what it looks like when you well, watch it on the video what I like is that Nigerians are resilient, but I also don't like that we're resilient because like that resilience has made us like deal with a lot of BS over the years. Um, so now it's time for us to have like serious conversations with our leaders about what we should be doing as opposed to just taking it and being like, okay, roll over, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Like it's clearly not working. And this is just showing that it's not working. So talks have to be had, <laughs> you know? Yes. Well, I've ever thought it's probably not. I don't have the range, but you know, I can support whoever is running for it that I believe in. For sure. Yes, of course. Um, I'd like to. I, I, I'd like. I, I've been seeing videos of a lot of health workers, you know, and um, I think right now they should be referred to as our Superman, you know, because. Um, oh, hundred percent. Like. Of course crazy i a couple of my friends are doctors in in america and they're frontline workers and they're dealing with a lot of covid patients and i'm so scared for them all the time i mean they are decked out in their ppe you know their protective gear and everything and they're doing so well I, I, it's scary like of course are they real superheroes grocery store owners even the people that are still delivering food you know to people at home like it's a lot it's a commitment you know um, yes. They're the ones that you we wouldn't have necessarily we, we take for granted, and now they're the ones that are saving us and putting themselves at risk. It's crazy. 
this thing is the ultimate equalizer. Not every single person on this planet has been affected by COVID in some way. Either you directly had it, you lost somebody who had it, you know someone who had it and lost their lives, or you know somebody who had it and got better. It affected our jobs, it's affected the rich, it's affected the poor, it's affected every single 